Hello everybody, it's me RJ here again with another video. Today we're on the Lost Valley Trail again, but we're going to a different uh, area. We're going to take an off path that'll get us to what they call Armadillo Falls, and I'll show you how to get there. And um, it's dry, it's in October, so we, we're we not going to see any water coming out of the waterfall, but we're going to have a good time getting there. So the first thing you want to do is start off on the Lost Valley Trail right here and head that way. When I get All right, everybody. We're on the beginning of the trail. I have the GPS marked right back there where the uh, bathrooms are. So you'll know the exact mileage in on where we have to cut off to the right to get to uh, Armadillo Falls. So I'll see you when we're at the cutoff. Okay, everybody. The GPS is reading at about 0 0.54 miles from the bathrooms, from the head of the trail and uh there's this washout coming down from here i'm pretty sure this is the one to armadillo falls i'm gonna head down through here and go up that way so at about half a mile from where the bathrooms are to this point and you can take off if you're going from the parking lot it's actually 0 0.60 miles right to this spot and you can go across here so i'm gonna head across there and we're gonna get to armadillo falls <coughs> I'll see you. All right, so you're gonna keep following that washout or stream, whatever you wanna call it. And when you get to here, there's a fork. You go right and left. You can go up and explore to the right if you feel like it or if you want to. But to get to Armadillo Falls, I'm pretty sure it's to the left. So we're gonna keep going this way. And I have been up there in the past. Uh, if I get a chance during this video, I'll go up there and climb around a little bit. But the main objective is to get to Armadillo Falls so you guys can see where it's at and what it looks like when it's dry. So when I first visited this uh, trail to get to this waterfall, there was water coming out of it. And right here, uh, when you get to this trail, you can either go around that side or you can walk through the water that's coming down here. Just be sure if you come here and this is wet, it is really slick and the water's coming through here. Still slick a little bit. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, it's still pretty slick, even though it's a little damp. About, 20, about a 20 minute walk upstream, uh, you're gonna find this area right here. And there is some water that comes there if there's enough rain and it's wet enough. And you can go back through here. Pretty neat looking area. It's kind of dark right now. It's about 5.15. So hopefully you're getting some of this. I'll use my flashlight to help brighten up the view. Hopefully that helps some. We're going to come out again, and there's a log over here where the water is coming down. So I'm going to climb up top here, put the flashlight away. <clears throat> and 
check this out. I'm gonna go up further, go around here this way and go walk back further that way. I'll see you guys when I get up there. So check it out, we're above that little waterfall right now. I'm gonna see if I can get a better view for you guys straight up the top and then we'll continue up. Pretty cool looking. It's much, much better when there's heavy rain and there's water flowing through here. I'm gonna head up this way. And again, if you come and there's lots of water, a lot of this is gonna be really, really slick. Uh, but you can get off to the sides, make your way up. All right guys, just keep following that washout and you'll get to this area here. Really tall bluff in this area right here and you're gonna climb up this rock. You can go around that way, this way, whichever way is easier for you up that way. Uh, just pick a path and go for it. And it sounds like there might be a little bit of water coming out. It is a little wet down here. You got a very tiny stream. So there might be some water coming out of that waterfall. It actually comes out of a hole inside of the rock here. So as we get closer, you'll be able to see it. It's not much coming out. It's trickling down. I'm gonna turn my flashlight on so you guys can get a better view. Just a little bit coming out. First time we visited, it was pouring out of that hole. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> and here's some water pouring over the edge right here. And then, all right, so down there is where the waterfall comes out of the rock, out of the hole inside of the rock over there. When you're making your way up this area here, there's a lot of loose rocks, so be very, very careful. And uh, I do think I've seen a little bit of poison ivy down there, so keep that in mind. Um, now we've got to get up here and there's another waterfall there and there's another one above it that's really tall that I wasn't able to get to last time because it was really wet and really slick and I almost fell off of the rock side and landed on top of my wife so we decided to call it quits. Since it's really really dry I'm going to try to get up there this time if I can. So I'm going to head up this way and get to that one so you guys can see it. Now, mind you, there's probably not going to be any water, maybe a little trickle. So come up here and you can make your way up this little area. It's not too bad. It looks kind of scary, but it's not really that bad. There's a lot of places to put your hands and feet, and these rocks aren't moving anywhere. Just be cautious because you are next to an edge. Or ledge, I should say. <laughs> Just keep leaning towards your left while you're walking. Awesome. Once you come up top from where I was, just follow this uh, line right here and stay against this bluff or against this wall, rock wall. And then make your way right down there and you'll be above that waterfall where that log was at. So let's check that out. We'll head down that way. All right, so we made it around this boulder here up to the top and right down there is where the water was falling off where that log was leaning against it. I'm gonna hop down so you guys can see it from above. Oh. 
All right, here it is from the top. I could actually get down in there pretty safely. Let's see. Let's crawl down in here. I wouldn't recommend this, guys. If you're watching this film, I would not recommend half of the stuff that I do. I just do it because I'm pretty comfortable with my abilities, uh, with my body strength on where I can and can't put my feet and move myself. So if I felt the slightest bit uncomfortable about anything, I back out quickly and I don't even try it. But we're right here, right at the edge of this. And I'm not going to lean too much far forward, but right below us should be the uh, hole in the wall to the left where the water was coming out. So that's pretty cool. Check that view out. It's beautiful. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to go ahead and turn around, come back, and I'm going to see if I can get to that tallest, tallest uh, waterfall that's up top. The very first time I attempted to do it was a total mess and disaster. Um, but since it's dry now, I think I told you already, I'm going to try to get up there. So that will never. Okay. Then I'll help you out. Okay. You got it? Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm going to try to get to the one way up there that um, Tim Ernst's book says it's not reachable. Um, I thought I read somewhere in a blog one time where somebody shimmied across this edge right here. And I tried it in the past, didn't make it. I'm going to try it again. Hopefully, I can make it. So here we go. <clears throat> Seeing this time that I'm leaving my backpack at the bottom, I won't have all that weight pulling me backwards. Okay, I cut the film for a minute because I was trying to figure out which way I want to try this. It looks like from here that it's easier to get up there from this way and this way. I only made it to right here last time. I made it up here and slipped backwards, fell on this log, and my wife was right behind me, and I would have knocked her off that way. So it's really dry, and I think I can get some good grips here. here so. so here we go. Now, remember, people... I do not recommend this to any of my viewers. If you want to do this, you do it on your own accord. Uh, actually, it looks like you can walk this path. I might try to make it up right here. That looks much easier. Um, yeah, I think I could make it up there. But I'm going to walk over here just so you guys can see. And right here it's pretty pretty crazy because you gotta hug the this wall. But I can get well I can get almost all the way around. Right here is where it gets a little crazy. But it's dry. You can get lots of grip. Let me hug the wall. My feet are actually nearly the width of the wall so got a little nervous there one move i could have fell one wrong move i could have fell but it looks like i can get up here so i'm up here we made it <laughs> Woo um i'm gonna see if i can help my wife get up a different way that might be easier that way she can come up here with me but man that's cool wait till we get around there all right i'll see you in a little bit all right, got my wife up here, so I'm going to explore around so you guys can see what it's like 
up here. That may be up there where the Tim Ernst book said was the tall waterfall that you can't get to because, yeah, you're not getting to that. That's unreal, unless you can find your way way up there somewhere and get to the top. I'm not sure you can. But man, just imagine if water was pouring out of this dude. There's a little bit trickling down. But that would be amazing if it was just gushing out right there. Man, that's totally awesome. I'm gonna go up there, get a closer look. <clears throat> I'm trying to get a picture of what it would look like if water was just pouring out. Now this is too cool. I bet if there was enough water pouring out, you could get right to the edge of here and, and just touch that water. I wanna show you guys something. Be careful, because you could grab these rocks and they'll just come loose. You'll think you got something good to hold on to and you don't. So always make sure you check that before you go grabbing on things, climbing on these rocks. It's pretty dangerous. But that is too cool. Looks like it pours out right there too. Oh yeah. See that groove oh, in the oh rock? Yeah, I see it. That's amazing. That would be totally awesome if we could get up there. But we can't. So I'm gonna turn around, smile. All right. I'm gonna head back down and maybe get up on the other side so you guys can see the view from that side. All right guys, if you made it uh, to this part of the video this far, you have got to see this. Uh, if you've never been up here, um, I was gonna go to that side, but I'm not going to. I scurried up around the mountain here, around this side, and went up top further. Very slick, uh, a lot of loose gravel, and these leaves make it uh, pretty tough terrain to, to scale. But I scaled it up just a little further, and there's actually two little cave entrances. One uh, I can crawl into, the other one I'm not so sure if I could fit in there, but uh, I, I've got to show you this, guy. So I'm going to head up that way, and uh, I will film the whole thing up there. That way you can see how uh, dangerous it might be. So you can decide for yourselves if you want to try this. But, it's pretty steep. Uh, I pretty much kept my hands and legs on the ground at all times for, mo for most of the way. I like to use the trees, but see a lot of this gravel is really, really loose, so be careful. Just stay low. And I know I'm making it look easy, but Right up here, there's a cave entrance, and right over here, this one. Let's go check the small one out first, but I gotta go um, fight through those briars. Uh, I'm gonna go check this, that small one out. That's the one that I went into. Uh, it's kinda weird to get into, but I'm gonna go right up here. I don't know if I can get on that ledge safely to get to the other side, so I may not do that. I don't, we'll see. Just having these thin hiking pants on with these briars. It's not going to be fun. Ouch. Oh, sorry. I'm tangled up. Okay. Ugh, got me in the chest. Okay. Boy, that's a lot of briars. I'm going to cut the film for a minute, guys. I'm gonna, when I get up there, 
Um, I'll get, I'll turn it back on. Okay, I made it through the briars and chopped myself up a little bit, but that's okay. Let's uh, see how far this goes back and then I'll get to that side. Hopefully there's no raccoons or anything in here. I hope this comes out cool. I did not know, well, of course I didn't know this was up here. I've never been up here. Really awesome. You can tell water flows out of here when it gets really uh, wet. Let me go back in just a little further. Cool, check it out. A little cave salamander right there. I don't want to bug him too much. Leave him be. That goes back in there a ways. Uh, if you've watched any of my other videos where I've crawled in these caves, I'm, I'm not afraid to, to get too far. But if I cannot easily turn around and uh, the cave is touching my back and belly, I do not want to go much further. And uh, there's another cave salamander. So that looks like it gets a little too tight for me. Uh, and my backpack is down out of reach. My SOS is out of reach. So guys, I'm not gonna crawl back in there much further. I'm actually gonna back out and get in a position where I can turn around just right back here because this is tight, really tight. And uh, I'm gonna get into that other cave. Okay. So, you know, I really don't like backing out of areas. Here we go. Oh, there we go. I'm out. Now, I've got to battle through those darn briars again. That was a chore, so I'll see you over there where my wife is, all right? All right, guys, here's the other uh, small cave that I found. So I'm gonna climb up into it, get my flashlight out, and get some footage of this. This is pretty cool. I like it when we come and find things we haven't seen before. This is why this trail is one of my favorites. So many things to see here. But check this out. I'm gonna turn around, look at that. That cool view. It's pretty awesome. Okay, let's go see. I found two or three cave salamanders back there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of them jumped on my shoulder. I got a little, I, I got a little nervous. You couldn't tell in the video, but <laughs> I felt that thing jump on my shoulder. Was, what was that? Look up, babe. How tall that is up there. I don't know if you can see us on this video. Hopefully, the GoPro's picking up some good shots. That's pretty awesome. There's nasty crickets in here everywhere. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Trying not to freak out when one of these crickets jump on me. Look at that up there. Man. Look at this. It goes way down around there. You can tell an animal was nesting. Yeah, something was nesting. Maybe a bird or something, I don't know. Check out this hole. It goes way back in there. Um, hold the camera up there. I'm just gonna see if I can climb just a little bit. Oh, hopefully they don't make me freak when they jump on me. I fall backwards. Say if it jumps on me, I'm freaking out. I just want to make sure that that's going to hold my weight. <clears throat> okay, let me see the flashlight. Can you reach it to me? Pretty cool. 
if I had the equipment, I would climb up there. But I don't. And all of our equipment is down at the bottom. <laughs> no water, no food. Not a wise choice, so I'm backing out. But that is cool. There's a lot of... Man, this is awesome. All right, we're headed back out. I'm going to get down. I don't think you can get to the top of that waterfall over there safely. There's ledges are too sharp. So we're going to head out of here. Really appreciate you guys watching this video. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Share my content if you like it. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. I uh, appreciate you watching. Love you guys, all my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video later <clears throat> all right guys i got up a little further um my wife's staying down there uh, it's a little tough to get up here this is i think is almost above that waterfall <sighs> that was a tough climb um i'm gonna walk out to this edge and see if we can look down on top of that waterfall Man, that was tough. Whew. Okay, so I know I said my video was over, but it wasn't. Let's check this out. I'm gonna try to do this as quick as I can and as safe as I can because uh, if I make any wrong move and I slip, I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna live after that. And if I do, I'll probably wish I was not around to learn my injuries. Um, but this is pretty cool. Uh, I'm normally terrified of heights and I don't like to get too close to the edge, but man, my, my adrenaline is pumping. And uh, I'm actually up at the top. I'm up at the top of that waterfall. Yes, I'm right above it. I'm above that waterfall. <laughs> Holy crap. Let me walk back here just a little ways. Okay, sorry for yelling. I, I was hollering down at my wife to tell her I was above the waterfall. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna film this so she can see it, because I don't know if she's gonna try to get up here or not. We're gonna get over here. Man, this is amazing. Oh, I wish she could be here to see this. Could you imagine if, if water was coming out of here? Look at this, dude. I've got to go up just a little further, guys. Bear with me. I'm, I'm really excited, really, really excited about this. No ropes, no climbing equipment, and I made it up here to the top of this thing. Freaking awesome. I'm pumped up. Whoa, there's a fence, okay. I'm not going beyond that fence. I didn't see that. There's a fence right there. And uh, that obviously is somebody's private property. I'm not going any further. But I'm going to walk down here. Get a little bit of footage of this canyon. Slot canyon or river stream carved out by the water. And I'm going to get out of here. So bear with me on this footage. I'm trying to keep my footing more than uh, getting video. Let me get a little closer here. And this looks slick, so I do not want to fall inside of that. This is amazing, amazing, amazing. Dude, this is awesome. All right. Let me see where I can put my feet. See that? That rock is loose. Don't trust it. Let's, uh, let's just get right here and slide down very slowly. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, I can't wait till I show this footage to her. Dude, this is... I don't want to get in here so deep that I can't get out. That's the... Uh, 
scary thing because right down there looks pretty pretty crazy it's one thing to get down into something it's another to get out and considering this is getting slicker uh, this is getting pretty dangerous so uh I'm gonna go just a little further and that's it because that drops and drops and drops. I can see where it drops straight down. I'm gonna get down to this little rock here and crouch down and that's as far as I'm gonna go. Uh, because if I go sliding, um, I'm dead and my wife won't know until I am sp splattered on the ground. So right here, as close as I'm gonna go, hopefully you guys can see what I'm seeing. This is amazing. Let me get some of these twigs out of the way here. Just a little further. And I normally listen to my nerves very, very well. So when my nerves start getting me, I normally slow it down. Um, that is awesome. Well, I'm gonna holler at my wife so I know she knows that uh, I'm coming down and I'll see you guys in another video. God bless you. Thank you for uh, watching this video. Awesome video. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, we'll see you.